Welcome back to the show and let's um, focus on the deal street. Well, Reluka Ramnath, who's the founder, MD and CEO of Multiples Alternate Asset Management, joins us now and her private equity firm has announced an infusion of about 1,200 crore rupees in electric three-wheeler maker TI Clean Mobility. Uh, Renuka, always a pleasure to welcome you on CNBC TV 18. Now, this particular company is a wholly owned subsidiary of the listed company Tube Investments. Can you share more details about the 1200 crore investment and what is the valuation of this company as per your transaction? So, uh, Tube Investments is setting up a subsidiary called Clean Mobility for building. Uh, a set of commercial vehicles. You know, it has three wheelers. It has. It'll have heavy commercial vehicles. It'll have tractors, uh, and multiples investment is into this company, uh, which is the subsidiary of TI, and the total fundraise in the subsidiary of TI is a three thousand crore fundraise, of which. Multiples will be investing through its partners, along with its partners, about 1,200 crores. Another 1,000 plus crores will be raised from other investors. And TI themselves, as the parent of this company, will be infusing 750 crores. So it's a 3,000 crore fundraise in this company. Okay. Uh, Renuka, good afternoon. This is Sonia here. Uh, you know, this, of course, is one transaction, right? But I want to understand what the rationale is of multiples to invest in the electric vehicle space. How do you see the evolution of this entire infrastructure? I ask because there are still several pieces that need to fit into the puzzle, whether it's the charging infrastructure, whether it's range anxiety. Um, these things have not been ironed out just yet. Do you think it's going to take a long time for uh, you know some of these businesses to evolve and grow? And apart from this, anything else in this uh, entire piece that uh, multiples would be interested in? Yeah. So, uh, Sunia, if you really look uh, at multiples story right from inception, uh, we have focused on how do we identify the big shifts in the economy and appropriate the growth and value creation by entering these spaces at the time when the proof of concept is already established and you ride the growth. Uh, we have been early movers, but we are not angel or first stage investors. So we have been catching these big shifts at the inflection point. We did this with delivery way back in 2013 when e-commerce was the big thing uh, that the uh, economy was witnessing. We have done that with Quantify for AIML. You know, we have done that with MoEngage for SaaS. We have done that with Aco for FinTech. And quite a number of examples I can give you. Uh, we did that with Dream11, when fantasy sport, uh, you know, are riding on the back of huge digital penetration and right. the need for Indian consumers to have active involvement with the sport. So. I would describe this as a DNA characteristic of multiples. Hmm. We see a huge shift impending in the electric vehicle space. All it's right. driven by our car country's commitment uh, uh, to environment and also on ground adoption. So just to tell you, uh, in 2022 alone, we have seen 1 million vehicles, electric vehicles already sold in this country. Right. Right. Uh, so you are seeing that adoption grow and that's why your interest. But Multiples has always been more cautious in their approach on investments also. Renuka, like when you invested in delivery, uh, the you know other uh, uh, direct e-commerce players were available, but you wanted to take a more safe approach. That's why I want to ask you again, what is the potential of this particular investment in terms of growth and utilizing the funds that have been infused right now? What is the potential that you see of expansion in the next few years? And how do you see this particular business grow? And also the valuation bit, because it is a subsidiary, wholly owned subsidiary right now of a listed company. So how much stake goes out and what is the valuation at which the deal and the investment has been done? Yeah. So one, you know, both by way of our government's commitment to, uh, uh, you know, managing the environment at a, on a global level, and therefore, a whole lot of steps that have been taken to accelerate through FAME initiatives and many other initiatives to embrace 
the change from fuel uh, uh, vehicles into electric vehicles is a very, very obvious kind of a macro. Within that, what to play is a choice that multiples has and when to play and with whom to play, right? We have made a conscious choice that we will go through the commercial vehicle route to appropriate value from this electric electrification of vehicles. Mm -hmm. We have also made a choice that we will not go with an existing OEM. Mm -hmm. We are going with a very reputed group who have exemplary manufacturing capability, yes. great engineering capability, mm -hmm. but they are not an OEM. They have their strengths in manufacturing and they have their strengths in financing. Yes. Uh, and uh, we feel that both these are excellent ingredients to build a company without any disadvantage of being in a legacy business. And number three, uh, you know, we have backed Belen to go and build this company. Uh, it's a partnership that we have uh, enjoyed and benefited in the past. So we, uh, we know his particular style. And we believe that we can be an excellent partner uh, for right. Valen to go out and build this company. So it's a combination of great macro, great group with skills, yes. no legacy disadvantage, and an excellent entrepreneur on the ground. All right. You enumerated the rationale for this particular investment, but you are taking the EV investment route through the commercial vehicle segment. That's a big takeaway as well. Thank you so much, Renuka, for joining us right here on CNBC Thank TV you. 18. Thank you. And with that, we'll slip into a quick break on the show. On the other side, Manisha Gupta joins us with Jonathan Barrett of uh, Probis Security. Stay tuned for that.